love you. And I think no matter who you were rooting for, no matter what, if you were, I, you made me fall in love with football. I never really cared about football before, but that that made me fall in love with football. And and what what an amazing experience for everyone because. And I heard you say something that I absolutely loved, which was you you don't pay attention to the scoreboard. I love that you you just you just were playing. Yeah, I mean, to just try to get back to down to the simplest form of the game, and that's just. What you did as a kid, um, yeah. just play ball. And you know, we knew, especially in a game like that, with emotions being so high and uh, playing a team like the Indianapolis Colts and a, a quarterback on the other side of the ball like Peyton Manning, that if you get into one of those scoreboard watching contests, then you, know, you, you get your mind off the game. And at any moment, you know, we've shown the ability to come back from huge deficits, as have they. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what the score is until the final bell hits. And, right. and when it did, we were, we were champs. Right. Well, it's kind of a good rule in life, too, to not look at the scoreboard, to just do what you One do and, and give it 100%. And, and it was just, but I mean, I'm looking at you, and you just look like you're beaming. You just look like you, you, you have to be filled with so much joy and pride. I, I, I am. It's still, it's still hard to believe. Uh, I mean, it's, it's very surreal. Um, you know, in fact, when I arrived here today, and, you know, you said that we have the Super Bowl champion uh, and MVP here. I said, well, who's that? Uh, yeah. you know, like, oh, that's me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> that's um, you. That's right. And well, I want to um, and I want to talk about where you how you came back too. That's that's an amazing story, but I have to thank you because, you know, as soon as we found out you were going to the Super Bowl, uh, being from New Orleans, my mother was like, I got to go to the Super Bowl, get me some tickets. And I was like, so I'll just mention it on the on the show. And you and your wife, Brittany, were so sweet to right away respond and get mama tickets to the Super Bowl. And did you get the, uh, you saw her too. You were on stage yes. uh, getting this beautiful trophy. Yeah. Mother sees you, you see her. And I can't believe you saw her in that whole crowd. Well, first of all, we are such huge fans of the show, watch it all the time. And so immediately, when you threw it out there that Mama needed two tickets to the game. <laughs> well, we've got to have Mama there. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so we immediately called and, 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 and made sure that she was taken care of and had to be there. And, and I did, in fact, you know, as, as I'm standing up on the podium, I've just received the trophy. And I'm just really trying to take in the moment, um, looking at the Houdat Nation uh, in, the, in, the, in the crowd, uh, just going crazy, confetti coming down. And I'm just trying to take it all in. And sure enough, as I'm kind of panning the crowd, I lock eyes with, with Mama. And, uh, <laughs> and as I recall, I blew her a kiss, and I was just so excited to, to see her, um, uh, obviously knowing you know, the story. But, that's uh, amazing. That's amazing. And then she got into the locker room, and then, uh, yeah. and then she left you uh, underwear. Did you ever get the boxers that she left you? I did. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> in fact, they're my new favorite pair. I'm actually wearing them really? right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am, am I allowed to do this? Or, uh... He's wearing them. They fit. Uh -huh. They fit. They do fit. Let and me know it, if in, you in want. Fact, in fact, I'm going to have to check with the NFL on this, but I'm, e I'm either going to wear them under my pads. It's going to be my new game day tradition, or I'm going to use it as my, my towel. I like that. I like you know, that. Like that. You know, like, you kind of, you know, throw the ball, dry them off. Think, Look, they, think they'd be okay with that? You, you, I'll custom make you anything you want. If you'd like yeah. a thong like I gave Patrick, yeah. you know, anything you want, I'll make it for Special you. Special occasions. No, for that. Are, yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. You deserve it. You deserve Thank it. You. Thank All you. right, and uh, and this, uh, the picture that, that is going to be on Sports Illustrated, you and your son Balin, right? Balin is name. Yes. Um, Balin. That was the most beautiful moment everybody is talking about, and that must have been as a father. He's such a special little boy, you know, and. Uh, without getting too emotional, uh, you know, I, I just want to make him proud, and I'm such a proud father, and uh, I mean that was a dream come true. Something that, before he was ever a glimmer in daddy's eye, you know, just the dream of of not only winning a Super Bowl championship, but to be standing up there on the podium with with that little boy, and the whole time I'm just telling him how much I love him, and that you know we did it, and you know he's he's an inspiration for me. Well, you're an inspiration for all of us because. take a break but when we come back the, if you don't know the story because the fact that you chose uh, 
to, to go to the Saints and what you came back from is, is a story that I think everybody needs to hear. <laughs> New Orleans, you said, saved you. Explain that. Well, you know, I, the last game of uh, the 2005 season, uh, it was my fifth year with the San Diego Chargers, and um, I didn't have a contract going into that next off season, season and there was a lot of kind of doubts as to what was going to happen with me. And sure enough, the worst thing that could have happened happened in that last game of the season. I had a, uh, a right shoulder dislocation, um, which uh, is probably about the worst injury you could have for a quarterback uh, right. to your throwing shoulder. And all of a sudden, I was kind of, you know, thrown on the street um, uh, and with no contract. And some doctors saying that they only thought I had a 25% chance of, of ever coming back and playing. And um, so for me, that was a very much a wake-up call. It was, um, you know, my dream has always been to be a, uh, a quarterback in the NFL. And to all of a sudden have that dream, you know, ripped away from you or, or the thought that it could potentially be ripped away from you, it was scary, very scary. And it really put life in perspective. But, um, you know, when nobody else wanted me, New Orleans came calling. And it was six months post-Katrina. And obviously, they had, uh, they had just gone through one of the uh, biggest natural disasters in the history of the, of the country. And, um, you know, while they were trying to rebuild and the organization was trying to rebuild, I was trying to rebuild my shoulder and my career. Um, they came down and looked me in the eye and said, you're the guy to lead this team and to lead this recovery effort. And we have as much confidence in you as you do in yourself. And uh, let's do this together. And that's all I needed to hear. And look what you did. Look what you did for our city. Look, I mean, it's, it's, And for yeah. you, it's just amazing. It is amazing. You know, that was, that was four years ago. And uh, I, when I reflect now that the season is over and we've, we've won the ultimate prize and we've been able to give that championship to New Orleans that they so richly deserve, you know, you reflect on just all that has happened here over the last four years. And it has not been easy. Look, um, at, look at Bourbon. Is that Bourbon Street? <laughs> that's got to be. I mean, that's, that's, that's every street in New Orleans that, right yeah, now. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I mean, the parade, everything must, if the fans, first of all, the Saints fans, are, are, aren't they the greatest? I just love New They're Orleans anyway. Great. New Orleans is, uh... So that was yesterday, yeah. that was yesterday at the parade, which uh, it was, you know, Mardi Gras is coming up this, this weekend, and I'm actually riding in the, the Bacchus Parade on you Sunday. You are? Yeah. I am, which uh, I know you're very familiar with all the parades, but yeah. that parade yesterday, I can't imagine it being any bigger oh, than, no. than what I mean. Well, because you're in it, it will be. But I mean, yes, that's probably bigger than any Mardi Gras parade that anyone it was had. So um, well, we want to do something for you since you gave Mama seats. There's, what what can we give you other than um, we want to give you permanent seats, you and your wife, because you gave us seats. We have plaques, and we will always have permanent seats in our audience. So uh, we will name the seats after you too, and also. I'm learning about football, but I guess in football you hang a jersey if it's a, it, you know, that's, that's an honor, right? Like retired, so retired jersey. We would like to, to put your jersey, uh, we want to hang it in our studio. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. That's so you'll have seats. Uh, uh, that's wonderful. All right. We're back with Drew Brees, and I like that. I think that's yeah. a really good idea. I'm going to start a new trend. That's right. We're going to start making them just because of you. The Houdat Ellen All Undies. the football players All will right. buy them. Yes. All right, uh, but yours will be special. All right, so we're going to, you, you throw this thing how fast? 50 miles an hour? How fast? Uh, something like that. 50? Yeah, they, 60. 60 miles an hour. Yes. And, and, and it turns quickly too. something fast. Lot How many lot RPMs? Lot RPMs. Lot of RPMs. How fast? Think, yeah, well, have a seat. You know, they, they actually compared it to, um, you know, NASCAR when they take off the lug nuts to change the tires. So this is really it's it's 600 RPM, something like that. So you throw it and then it spins while you throw it. Yes. How? Well, the, 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 well, the technical technical term would be pronation. So as it comes off, as you're throwing, and it comes off. It comes off your index finger as the last finger to leave it, or your middle finger. But when I you haven't do that, done it that way. Okay. You kind of um, snap it off there. So, oh, see, look at look at that. All right. So this is um, we're going to try to to get, get it the through the uh, fleur de lis. Okay. And um, which one do you want? Oh, really? <laughs> All right. The, uh, <laughs> the bottom right. Bottom right. The bottom right. Uh. Uh, so just, 
I'm just getting warmed up. Go, yeah. You want to try one? So it comes off the last finger. The index finger. The, oh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see you do you one. Do, let's do it at the Let same time. See, no. We'll do it at the same time. We no. won't know who's no, over no, in. No, no, I think we'll know who's okay. over <laughs> You do it first. What's that? That's very far. We can screw it up. No, I don't want, I want to do what you do. Okay. All right, same time. Let's right. both aim for the middle one. Okay, good. Are right, you ready? One, one two, two, three. three. Oh. 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 I love you so much. You too. Oh. <laughs>